What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat. And before we get started, I just wanted to remind you guys that we have free shipping on all orders over $100. And it really doesn't make sense to order less than that because, you know, the cost of the ice, the coolers, the shipping, it's so, so, so expensive on our end. I mean, we break even and even lose money on some West Coast orders. So keep in mind, there are a few people that are like not hitting that $100 threshold and then paying like $120 for shipping. So I'm assuming they just missed on you know the website banner that we do have free shipping over $100. So I just wanted to remind you guys of that. And this is actually take two of this vlog because I filmed it earlier and I was explaining a lot of nonsense. You know, the landlord's trying to kick me out, the neighbor from the neighbor complaining about the smell. You know, he's sending people down a few times a week. He's, he's, he's doing kind of pretty dirty stuff. So between earlier today when I filmed the first vlog and now, I spoke to the neighbor for a little bit just to get an idea of what's going on. And uh, uh, my neighbor is Muslim and he actually said, hey, if you have someone that can do like a lot of processing on Eid, which is their like uh, time of um, year for worship, they, they basically buy, you know, a few hundred cows. So potentially I can contract out some business with my neighbor but in the meantime, <laughs> um, you know, there's a solution. I, I can pay an HVAC guy to run a new line and, and, and figure the smell problem. But, you know, this landlord has a lot of money. He's literally a billionaire, owns like the whole street. And now they're kind of, you know, they want their engineers in here and people, okay, what's this guy doing? It, it seems like the landlord's trying to get me kicked out because they're saying, okay, this guy's been trouble. We don't want to lose two tenants. Da, 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 and now I got to have a meeting with them this week. So, you know, that is a bit of a pain and that's one of the reasons why i made that video last friday now and guys this guy is like he sent the person who sold us the building originally down to my business partner this guy comes in last week and he's making like these he's not technically threatening but he's saying like oh well uh you know if the fire department came in here and and knew this was going on or that was going on they're going to shut your business down I'm like come on come on you're gonna and then he's he's having random people come by trying to look in the building and, and it's just he, basically, the landlord is trying to come up with some type of excuse to evict me. And there's so many governing bodies in New York for different businesses that you can make up any sort of reason to start filing random complaints. So, you know, I, I didn't want to have to get my lawyer involved, which is already happening. But you know, it, it, it's just too much nonsense, guys. It's too much nonsense. So uh, there, there is, as usual, some good news with the bad news. So I'm speaking to that new butcher. Uh, and he said we might be able to do some hot dogs, sausages, charcuterie, uh, particularly uh, Italian sausage, regular plain sausage with just salt, maybe some like pork bologna products, definitely some bacon, so snack sticks, and uh, all the stuff is going to be made with high quality organic spices, and I'm probably going to have to buy the spices, blend them myself, send them out to him, and then he's going to process it but it, lo it looks like that might happen relatively soon and we might have a nice good uh, supplier of a lower price beef and it might be able to increase the profit a little bit uh, in addition to that the, the eggs are probably still on track guys so I won't I won't give you too much more information on that because I'm still talking to him we're still trying to work some things out but you know that's just another very unique product that no one else on the market's offering and I'll be really happy and excited to e even include those products into my diet now you know hot dogs made with no nitrates, no preservatives, all organic spices, special custom blend, not just the typical hot dog blend. You know, this custom Italian sauce. I'm, I'm pretty excited for that stuff. I get to have my creativity and uh, we'll see. It's a bit later in the day and UPS is actually here. So let me get the mechanic to move his car. I'm gonna actually show you guys a clip that I recorded earlier of the front of my building that is like a parking lot. Oh, so this is another thing my landlord doesn't care about and I can't really do anything about it. So uh, the front of my building is basically a parking lot because of the mechanic down the street. So uh, this is one of his cars. That's another one of his cars. That's another one of the mechanic's cars and there's two more mechanic's cars here. So, you know, when UPS comes every day, when I have deliveries every day, they either got to carry the deliveries up here or they can't back the truck up. It's just ridiculous. It's just nonsense. Yeah, I don't mind too much, but you know, I got to go over there every day, ask him to move the car. On the other hand, what am I going to do? I don't feel like getting shanked by 15 Dominican guys. So uh, we got a, a few new things in the freezer this week. We'll just take a quick look for you guys. We have the boar bacon back in stock. Honestly, didn't think you guys would, would buy so much of this, but we got more. We have the, the vet steaks and flat iron steaks, eight ounces back in stock. You guys really like these. They're nicely portioned. The whole short ribs are back in stock. Not too popular of a product, but you know, you guys have been smoking these, throwing them on the grill, lots of spices and rubs. It's nice to serve you know, a family or like a large party. 
Ooh, those look good, huh? Ribeye steaks. But we did get the veal testicles back in stock, guys. I know most of you have been buying the goat, but some of you do prefer these. So these are a bit larger. We have, I think, like one pound portions available and two pound portions available. I'm not sure if I showed you guys this the other week, but we have the petite tender back, except this time it's packaged. Like, you get, you know, three to four petite tenders per package. It's only about two pounds. You know, you have this over two or three days. We do have a new pork product. This is Iberico Pork Collar. It's usually a braised or thrown on the grill. And guys, all the Iberico pork we sell, it's so delicious, has such this complex, deep, nutty flavor that I wouldn't put anything on it besides salt. It'd be a sin, really. I think what we might also do is, you know, we have the pork loins here, which are pretty large, so I think we're gonna cut these into strip steaks. And same thing with the, uh, the pork ribeye chops, you know. Th this is really expensive because it's Iberico pork and it's, it's a heavy weight. So I think we'll chop this up for you guys and give you guys smaller portions. I told you guys last week we have switched the collagen broth and chicken stock over to the Me website. And we're actually uh, sold out right now, so I can't show you any, but we're removing it from the foods website too. So it's just gonna be frozen as fresh as possible. You guys can get it. And I think when we get the eggs too, I'm gonna put the eggs on the meat website, but uh, you're probably going to have to only order the eggs and we're gonna ship them separately from the meat, but I'll, I won't worry too much about that because that should hopefully be like a month or two away at this point. I've been talking to distributors, basically everyday meat suppliers, try, trying to get the missing stuff in for you guys and try to uh, you know, keep things moving, but you know, again, the added stress of the landlord and that type of stuff, I'm not, too, I'm not too happy about it, you know? So in the fridge, guys, we got all of the cheeses back in stock. I think this week we were missing uh, blue cheese and Gruyere cheese, all that type of stuff. For some reason, the restaurant suppliers did not have any organic pineapples, so uh, we had to get organic oranges and apples and lemons. So instead of the pineapple flavored uh, water kefir, we're gonna do orange this week, and we'll still have the apple lemon flavor. Can't forget, guys, I'm losing my mind <laughs> making you all uh, fresh roast beef every week, but some of you guys are appreciating it. I'm sure you know some of you guys are concerned. Hey, Frank, what's going on with the business? You're gonna keep going? Look, guys, I'm gonna stick it through as long as possible. And you know, I, I don't anticipate getting kicked out or anything happening relatively soon. But even even worst case scenario, if this if this billionaire wants to evict me, it still takes you know years right now with the current court system. I just I just really can't deal with the added stress of everything accumulating. So Frankie's Naturals, you guys know, a few weeks back we launched the bug spray. You guys have been buying you know a decent amount of it. More importantly, the moisturizing cream is back to the old formula. And guys, this is really, really nice. It's a, it's a natural emulsion made with beeswax. I've been putting this on my feet uh, for the past uh, you know, week or so just to kind of moisten the skin. And a lot of you guys you know, were kind of not so happy with the new formula, so we're back to the old one. Uh, this is even better in my opinion, so I encourage you guys to try the moisturizer cream. You're really, really, really gonna like it. I worked a, very hard on this, took me a lot of time to do it. I'll try to get the natural hair pomade uh, finished this week, guys. I haven't had time to do it. Wi-Fi shielding, nothing new, but as always, guys, I'm wearing my joggers and sweatpants. I need to get some more fabric so that we can make uh, more t-shirts and underwear because we're basically out of all the sizes. You know, I figured you guys would want the full body coverage with the joggers and the sweats more but, uh, and the shirt, but uh, it is a little bit expensive. So on organ supplements, these are all the bovine powders. Guys, we're probably going to do a liquidation uh, because I honestly can't afford to keep all this inventory anymore, and the uh, suppliers, for some reason, are not responding to my... Um, inquiry so i don't know if we're going to be able to get the stuff anymore and right now it's already priced lower than any other supplement company online for the uh, for the volume you're getting so don't be surprised if this is like you know crazy 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 you know a quarter 20 percent or 10 percent of what the other companies are selling it for right now that's that's kind of the update for for all of the businesses guys uh, i'll probably keep you uh, updated on what's going on with the landlord situation but again Back to me not getting the loan for that slaughterhouse and you know, not owning it myself. I put so much money in this building. I mean, look, it's, I mean, for me, it's a crazy amount of money. You know, over $100,000 in equipment and stuff into this building. And a lot of that is just fixing stuff that wasn't working like the HVAC system. So uh, I can't afford to relocate even if I wanted to. And the problem with not profiting on the business is on your tax returns, you don't have any income. So if I go to like apply for a new lease, let alone a, buy a building. If I go to apply for a new lease, they're not going to even give it to me, you know, even if I just want to rent another warehouse. So uh, we'll see how things go, guys. Again, as, uh, as you uh, probably know from watching my video last Friday, 
I am ready to open up that Colombian strip club so I could give half a shit to whatever this landlord wants to do. So thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frank-stefano.com uh, if you want to check out all my businesses and support me. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, if, I, if I feel up to it tomorrow, I have a few scripts written out for some educational videos. But, you know, knowing that two, three years from now, another loser is going to make a few million dollars off my ideas from that video. I know, it's just don't even want to bother doing it anymore. Mm -hmm.